This is talking with Frost Network. Everything on this show is opinionated. So don't be a Enjoy the show. Asking what I see in you Put you on the ground Now they wanna take pics like They wanna take trips like Alright You ain't gotta worry about nobody else hits Put you a bag Now that guy's asking what I see in you Put you on the ground Now they wanna take pics like They wanna take trips like Fuck her just like a lover yeah. Fuck her just yeah. like no other yeah. Go sun yeah. up to the sun down Shout out, I want you right, right now Smoke a blunt, she need a yeah. time out I beat that pussy yeah. down, yeah. yeah, I beat that pussy yeah. up She suck my dick, she looking up oh, yeah. Tap out session, she ain't giving up yeah. She can't get enough yeah. 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 Can I fuck you in the shower? Yeah. Can I fuck you for yeah. a hour? Girl, that pussy yeah. got some yeah. powers yeah. It won't yeah. yeah. the flow yeah. It's so delicate, yeah. girl, I like that freaky yeah. shit Shout out, she the baddest bitch Yo, 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 and just like that, that's episode 18, yes sir, 18, and it's DJ Frost here, that's 18, yes, you sir. have to bleed me out, big tr- no cap, what the f*** going on, man, we back with another one, you know, every episode, you know, we gonna keep saying it's sponsored by Trap Kogan, you know what's going on, follow the brand, and official Trap Brian on IG, uh, shop trap xxx.com, shop roman alexander.com. A lot on the way, yes, sir. You know what's going on, and you know, I'm not gonna forget to keep telling y'all for every episode like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know what time it is, y'all already know. I'm tired of telling y'all, so tap in, tap in, tap in. You heard, yes, sir. So, how was your week, though, man? My weekend was good for real, though. It just seemed like a month. My week was like a blur. I'm saying, I ain't gonna hold you. Like yesterday felt like the day before. The day before felt like today. They could like I don't know what's going on. Nah, <laughs> what about you? Nah, same. Probably yeah. just been in a slow motion for me, for real. Hey. Just been gathering thoughts and all type of. What they say know? about slow motion? Better than no motion. How you mine? Feel? You feel me? How <laughs> <laughs> mine? So you know. With that, you ready to jump into these topics, man? Talk to me. Now, you know, um, we, we took off the Sunday because, you know, Super Bowl. And, you know, we took some time off the pod because, you know, the lovers in on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So they time. You know, yeah. we back on it. So, you know, we got to get to talking about that. You know, the Super Bowl, that's number one. You know, it's crazy. I was going for the Eagles. Y'all, y'all let me down, man. I'm Glad I ain't putting nothing on the parlay, man. I was oh really yeah, sad, bro. Yeah, cause I, I was I was popping big shit too. Hey, <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, shout out to my man. I ain't even gonna say your name, but you know who you is. Don't bet on. Hey, just call me for you place that bet next time, though. Cause no. time, lately I've been like a little genie with all the teams. Like I, know I ain't gonna, gonna lie, you have been. You have been, bro. Yeah, I've been on it, right? Mm-hmm. I, I told you that. I, I give you that. I ain't in. I ain't in stutter. I said I got the Chiefs. I ain't in blink. I said I got the Chiefs. Nah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, me. But it's all good though, man. We gonna watch, watch. What's the next championship we got going on? The finals. Yeah, I got my pick locked, man. We gonna see what's going on. Uh, who you think going all the way? Sh- yeah, Lakers. Ain't by the jinx, you know what I'm saying? Or even give them my pick so they can try to go and win some money off me. You know Let me go and say the Lakers now, you know just me? in case they don't make it. You I, know, I, I, li- I like your pick, on. though. They they at the <laughs> bottom, so they don't even, people probably don't even think they going to win. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, you know the, the, the Super Bowl was crazy, though. I say, I know there's mad people who lost mad money, mad yeah, celebrities yeah. who was... You know, popping they shit in the A lot of people was really riding on that. You seen, I seen a lot of people was mad at the bar. 
<laughs> oh, oh, we boy. You know what I'm saying? So I know, I know. You know, a lot of people had it riding on the game. So. Halftime, I seen, a, I seen a lot of happy motherfuckers, though. Yeah, and yeah, speaking on halftime yeah. with Rihanna, how'd you feel about her performance? Cuz, forget the performance. No, 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 no. Let's just, <laughs> no, no, no. Before we get there. What you felt about her my actual Lord. performance? My Lord. Cause what you felt about that performance, man? All right. Let's be real. You know she lip synced the whole thing, but then I had to give her a break. You know, until yeah, later all, the information I got. I mean, some dude. I mean, Fifty wasn't when he was hanging upside down. Video <laughs> never. Yeah. That nigga's so bad. Like you know what I'm saying? Thing that's going on with that, like. You seen she pregnant, though. Baby number two. That's what I'm saying. Cause that, that's wild. I ain't even going to lie. Yo, ASAP, stop. Bro, we never going. You know, the females is mad now. Because, you know, my shorty talking about they never going to get a Rihanna album now. Oh, yeah, never. Last Jump never, was bro. anti. Yeah, they, they never going to get an album, bro. It was a nigga named ASAP for a reason. Him playing yeah. no games. He's dropping them ASAP. In her. Come on, man. ASAP. You feel me? ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> nah, that's wild, bro. But just think ASAP, no Rocky though. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. Bro doing the right thing. I would have plugged it too, bro. She, My man's just back to back. And she worth a B. Word. <laughs> Word. Word. Shout out to ASAP though. Plugging up her for worth a B. You feel me? <laughs> Number two, mind. bro. <laughs> In black history, man. Yeah. Now nah, that's a fact, though. Mm-hmm. Now nah, watch. You can't, I can't see that too much. Oh, here's my... There ain't no black history, man. Ain't nah. no black history. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Rihanna's sorry. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> again. Nah, she's pregnant again. Hey, cuz, how did you react? That's what I want to know. How did I, you react? My main thing, bro, I always said to my girl, I said, hey, if Rihanna ever... That's one celebrity ever came up to me and was like, hey, yo, I want you. Yeah. I'm out. Rihanna's that one I always loved since I was a young boy. You know what I'm saying? Since since her first song, bro. On MTV, I was seeing, like, oh, you New man. York. So, you know, them Caribbeans, them got down. Yeah. Man, yeah. Like, so, you know, she was always that one for me. You know, after, after Aaliyah, that mm -hmm. was that one for me. So, you know, I ain't have too many of them. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rihanna's one of them ones. And I give her that though, but you know, ASAP, shout out to you for, you know, locking that down, you know, impregnating her for the second time, my guy. You know, making kids like us mad, but it's all good. Shout out to you, girl. For celebrity Shawty, what I really risk it all for. See, I'm really thinking though. I got my big thinking face on. Uh -uh. There's only a couple. <laughs> I only say a couple. Like Nia Long, that's for sure. You know, shout out Nia. You know, uh, Aaliyah was one of them. Um, of course, Rihanna. And there's one more. Is, you know that chick from that podcast? That Poor, Poor Minds podcast? Oh, yeah, yeah. They got eight hey, them two females Jeez. right there. Hey, hey man, Shorty, say, you man. Know the little dark skin one? Shout them out. I don't even know her name, but she, one of them might be Dre and Dre and Nicole. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Dre and Nicole. Hey, shout you are Ooh. beautiful. You hear me? Oh my God, I was gonna so say if, Nicole something. But so if you saying yeah. this right now, go ahead. Shout out to you, man. You are super beautiful. Hey, you know what I'm saying Dre, you can sit right here. Your partner yeah. can sit right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even know your name. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we gonna do that. If you seeing this, man, holler at us, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Come sit on the pod, man. Come to Frost Studios. Yeah, you know we go check check your DMs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a collab real quick. I seen you on the 85 South show. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. Let's work. But, you know, I got to give another thing, you know, a fact to, uh, for the, you know, Black History Month thing, man, you know. Talk to him. You know, 49 years ago this month, you know, good times permitted, man. Damn. You know, I, I feel like that's a, that's something that people need to, pay attention to that I was a part of the black community for a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's almost 50 years, bro. Not nah, really. Though. You know what I'm saying? And we, that's a show we could sit down and really watch together as a family. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you don't think so? I'm not going to say, I mean, I'm listening to you. Nah, you don't think so? 
That was one of those like yeah, 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 yeah. shows you sit down and you know as a family and watch together. Now nah, you could. Let me stop playing with yeah, man. You know, I'm listening to you. Nah, definitely though, you know. And shout out to them, you know, everybody that was on that show, y'all definitely like left a legacy. No, I definitely did, this, though. You know, and you see, I, I was literally just playing, want to see what yeah. you want to say. Cause <laughs> even while you talking, I'm, you know what I'm thinking about? A, Good times, anytime you, you need a payment. payment. Good times. Anytime you need a friend. Good times. Anytime you have none, dog. I get a hook. I get a hook. Keeping your head above water. Make it a way we got temporary layoffs. Good times. Easy credit ripoffs. Good times. Hanging in the chow line. <laughs> Ain't we lucky we got him? <laughs> Good times. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you zoom in on the trap jump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah. Hey, that's a classic right there. They say you think it's hash. The pop. Nah, that's a classic though. That's tough. No, that's tough. Definitely. And JJ, you'd be like, Dynamite. You know what I'm saying? That was loud. Nah, but <laughs> but yeah, that's hard. Facts, though. That was definitely a classic. I still watch that joint to today if I could catch it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. That's why I was playing around like that. So, <laughs> oh, you don't watch it? Not like to this day. I had the DVDs when I was growing up as a young. My dudes kept kept me with the DVDs, like a lot of good uh black sitcoms and everything, Martin yeah. and all that. But nah, I'm not watching that today though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just run it back to watch all you know the old episodes. You know the messages they have. You know behind it. Well, watch you this. Know. You know I'm still you know a little young. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, know, yeah, I'm still yeah, trying. Yeah. I'm watching the player, the player ones. Yeah, yeah. The bachelor <laughs> ones, like the Martins and the Fresh Princes mm -hmm. and the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like a dude in college probably be like, yeah, bro, I be watching Different World. I be like, yeah, not me. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's in college. Nah, <laughs> yeah. facts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but, but I mean? respect it. Not, it's a good it's a good show, but I'm not like, oh, shit. Now nah, I'm switching up with the Wayne's Brothers. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely one of my favorite shows, the Wayne's Brothers. That's, but, that's probably my favorite. Yeah, you know, ninety sitcom for real. Man, yeah. I I love like Good Times, the Cosby Show, all um it, it incorporated family, bro. No matter mm -hmm. what the situation was, all incorporated black family, bro. Um, yeah, the struggles go through, people we go through as people, bro, on an everyday basis, and um, you know, for some it really gave them hope. For a lot of people, it gave them hope and. It made them laugh at the situations they go through in life instead of just crying about them. And, you know nah, what I'm saying? Facts. It's like, yeah, everybody could relate to this. No, nah, facts. I, I agree. They totally, they turned a lot of, like, sad situations into where it's like, you know, we still going to make it out, you know? Mm -hmm. So where you can see a happy day or you can see the next day through, you know, where a lot of people just feel like giving up. So <laughs> Temporary layoffs. Good times. Hanging in the chow line. Good times. But ain't we lucky we got them. Dun, dun, dun. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like nah, they was even out, talking that shit. Good times, bro. Shout out good times, man. Y'all already know. Shout out good times, man. Shout out good times. He was talking that shit in the intro. But you know, another topic I want to get into. Over oh, before you say that, I'm sorry, Greg. You better make this shit do what it do. That's all, that's all I gotta say. We tired of telling you, Greg. You know what I'm saying? But nah, the next topic I want to get into here. Is what Joe Button was talking about, you know, with the podcast space now. What do you say about how a lot of people not, you know, a lot of podcasts not consistent, and he like how they are because he like he like how they not consistent because you know they getting mad because they not making money off of it so like easily. It's not that easy. You get what I'm saying? So from him saying that, how do you feel about the podcast game? You know, since we've been doing this, how you, you gonna pay the clip? Hmm? You gonna play the clip? Watching most of you niggas fail. Let's take it off Joe now. Statistics show that most of you are failing. From 2018 up until now, uh, podcast creation is down over half. More than half from 2018 to now. That's not Joe making this up. Y'all niggas are failing. I like it. As somebody that has dedicated his life to podcasting, and I'm not leaving no time soon, 
I like when all of y'all jump in the race, bump your head a few times, and run away because it ain't no money in it. I don't feel guilt about it. Take y'all bum ass somewhere else and figure it out. I'm here. A lot of people are like, oh, I can't believe this nigga. He's going to be influential. And I, I kind of like, okay, I see what you're saying. Let me come back for two seconds. Is anybody successful saying it? No. Well, 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 oh, well hold on. No, 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 no. The nigga what? I see saying it, failure. What's that? Like, Bad. He's been trying like, to succeed for over a decade. That's failure. That's not nice. How do I feel? Um, I mean, shit. <clears throat> he won line, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's basically with anything. You see what I'm saying? And when you make it to a certain type of level. Well, let's be real, bro. Yeah, you're going to you, gonna... How you feel about some of them podcasts you see out here that's upcoming? You see, I like, let's in, be real. Nah, but look, watch this, though. Watch this, though. Watch mm -hmm. this, though. Before you get in your spiel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably say I won in. I feel what he's saying because before I would even say other podcasts, I look at other clothing brands. Like, let's mm -hmm. say my point, this time last year, I done dropped so many different items and so many different things to the point where I'm like, bro, this ain't fuck me for real, bro. Like, with niggas just dropping little regular tees. They just slapping little baby on there. Like, I'm really making little, like, fits. I'm making jean jackets. I'm making zip, a full zip-up hoodie. Before you seen everybody with the full zip-up, I was making the full zip-ups, camo print all over with the X, the button, and the zip-up, like, Cause ain't doing that old mascot is like I'm putting in the work like ah you know, mm -hmm. but people just gotta see see like when you hop in that game any game you gotta just see where it take you yeah, cause it ain't gonna be easy bro at all you know what I'm saying so he he ain't just talking this shit he just like letting them know like fuck it like how you say I don't mind watching y'all just do what y'all do hop on them motherfucking when y'all crash hit that wall mm -hmm. and y'all stop to go figure something else out go figure the next thing you wanna do but. Now I'm gonna let you all get in your spirit though. Talk to me now. Nigga, when That's you start now when you see them other podcasts, though. And I'ma say it from you know, from running the whole podcast, from <clears throat> editing to producing the gym, Nigga from doing you know, A to Z. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? I see like, you know, I ain't gonna say this this to me, the way I look at it. My competitors, I don't look at it as a local competitor. I don't look at any local competitors. Mm -hmm. Like, anybody that's local, you're not my competitor. You, you know are, what I'm saying? Always, I'm right. looking at it. I'm doing my thing to compare with Joe Button, Matt Hoffa. If you're in the top 10 in the podcast, that's what I'm trying to aim to be at and what I want mine's to look like. You Real get what shit. I'm saying? So, that's how. And if I see anything less than that, I feel like, oh, nah, you playing with it. You get what I'm saying? And I could look back at episodes I edit, and I'd be like, dang, I don't like how I did that joint. Like, oh, I know somebody else. But then people like it. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I still keep going, but I know for myself, it's like, okay. could have been better. It yeah. could have been better right there. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you have to keep looking at it. Because if you want to be up there in the top 10 with one of the greats, I say they're the greats because it's hard to get top 10, bro. There's like almost a million podcasts yeah, out here. You get what I'm saying? And you got to do what you got to do to stand out. So it's like, with that, you see, yeah, you got to be you standing out. But it's like, you also got to be following the blueprint. You got to have a blueprint and you got to stick to it. And that's what makes some people successful and that's what takes some people longer you get what i'm saying some people want to follow the blueprint some people want to make their own you get oh, what shit. i'm saying so with that that's why some podcasts don't make it or they don't grab the right attention you know you could be on episode a thousand and yeah you put in the work you know what i'm saying but it's like a thousand episodes and you only get in 20 views an episode yes like Ain't that ain't that. It's, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got to know where you got to keep paying attention to this to where it's like, all right, I need new audiences. I know I got to grab these people. Out. What I got to do to get this? What I got to do to get that? And you can't be afraid to change. So that's what I say, you know? In this game, just as with anything. Yeah, with any game. You got to be you gotta be with the change. You get what I'm saying? All this shit. It's a game, it's a hustle, you know what I'm saying? Life mm -hmm. is a game, life is a hustle. You know nice. what I'm saying? You got many lanes in this in this game we call life, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You better pick up the right sticks to the right controller. Yeah. And if you don't know how to play that game, you better go to another game. See what I'm saying? Like this shit game stop. Man, all these different lanes is a game you can play. You mm -hmm. but you, you better watch how you play these games, you better play it right and you better move.
make sure you one of the best in them games that you playing. Nah, facts. Because if there ain't no money in the game you playing, what you doing it for? You, you know what I'm saying? If you can't, problem. if you can't, if you can't win levels and succeed and get achievements in that game you're in, what are you doing it for? You're wasting time. Yeah, facts. You're wasting time. That's what I feel. That and why go? Why step into something if you feel like you're not gonna give it your all? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> that's another. That's the way I I take that of what he said. Cause why step into something and you know, like. He's a top competitor with everything. You know Joe Button is. That's how I'm seeing it as. You know what I'm saying? Like, why wouldn't you want to be up there with the top competitors? You know what I'm saying? So give it your all. So that's what I say with a lot of podcasts or anything that anybody doing. Like, give it your all. Don't go in this shit half-assed because you think it's some quick money. Mm. And it's not. It's like, it's only going to make you money. If you can do what you could do on YouTube uh, with that, or you know how to make your money outside as a public figure, you know what I'm saying? Like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, like that's all on pushing your podcast, pushing your content, you know, Real to get shit. out there. That's other ways to make money from it. Just be patient. You just got to believe in what you're doing and be patient. Real so that's what that's really my full take Study on that. Great, grab a blueprint, you know. Yeah, and put your own twist to that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. man, do you, put your own twist. Don't copy me. <laughs> he gonna <laughs> let you know. You feel me? <laughs> I might shout you out in the episode, not in a good way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't copy me. You know what I mean? You don't know what I do out here. What it takes for me to do what I do. So yeah, hey, man, yeah, man, my man, man is gonna let you know. He gonna let you know yeah, ASAP. Man. Yeah, straight that up. That's not playing, fool. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Hey, man. Y'all already know what's going on. It's talking shit with Frost, man. Hey, man. Yo, what's going on, bro? You God just damn. slide up in my shit like that. What's up, man? You woke me up, right? Now. What's, what's up, what man? About, man? Hold on, man. How these artists gonna get their shit up, man? How they trying to get their shit on this? <clears throat> Listen up, man. If you're an artist right now and you're looking to get your shit on talking shit, bro, let me give you the motherfucker. Right now to go and listen to. Wait, hold on. If you're an artist right now, you want to listen. If you're an artist and you want to go ahead and get your to play it on top with Frost, go ahead and listen to these numbers right now. I'm about to give them to you. And the number is yeah four seven zero yeah nine eight one yeah thirty nine sixty five. And if you didn't get the mother, I'm gonna run it back one more time. Four seven zero yeah nine eight one yeah thirty nine sixty five. And if you ain't get them numbers, you ain't fucking get it. So you know with that, man, you got any like going out message you wanna give to them before we head out? <clears throat> Shit, uh <coughs> I don't know, man. As always, my message is gonna always stay the same, man. You got a dream, get up, chase that motherfucker, goes, go and get up and chase it, man. What you waiting on? And uh I also say Really learn who you are, like my like my man said the other the other episode. Really learn who you are. And don't play with this thing we living in called life, man. It's much more to life than just what meets the average eye on a daily basis, man. It's shit bigger and greater than what we could possibly imagine. So just start doing some research, man, and just really live your life. Love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't look for others' opinions or anything to base the way you want to live your life and do you. So. Go mm-hmm. far and achieve what you want, man. It's a big message, facts. but, you know, some real shit. Nah, facts. <laughs> and, you know, all I got to say is, man, just, if you got something you love, just know, regardless of any obstacles you might go through, you just got to keep pushing through that joint, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, if that's, you know, where your ending result is, like, you want to be a photographer, a videographer, you know what I'm saying? Just keep pushing through whatever obstacles you go through, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be worth it in the end. You know, that's that's really all I got to say for real. And, you know, this episode 18, man. Yeah. You know, this just talking shit with Frost. Don't forget to fucking like, comment, subscribe. Come on. All that And shit. shit this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So with that, it's DJ Frost here, man. Trap CEO. And just like that, we out of here.